Hi everyone. In this video, I am going to explain the different types of hygrometers. In the previous video, I have started the measurement of humidity. There we have, there I have discussed uh, the definition of humidity and what are the different uh, types of uh, hygrometers. That means hygrometer is nothing but which is used to measure the humidity in the atmosphere. So, what are the different types of uh, hygrometers? We have seen resistance hygrometer, capacitance hygrometer, thermal hygrometer and uh, gravimetric hydrometer. So, these are the four different types of hygrometers. Now, I am going to start with resistive hygrometer. This is the hygrometer uh, how generally a meter looks like. So, hygrometer is showing some deflections from 0 to maximum like a 100. Okay, that means what is the uh, humidity percentage in terms of percentage like 50% or 60% in terms of percentage the meter will show the humidity. So, this is what the hygrometer and how it is looking like. So, the coming to first type of hygrometer that is resistive type hygrometer where depending on the variations in the humidity the resistance of a device will vary. <coughs> okay, so let us see how the circuit looks like. And what are the different what are the different uh, things that we are taking care of in the measurement of resistance uh, humidity changes? Some hygroscopic salts exhibit a change in resistivity with humidity. So the most common is lithium chloride. So lithium chloride is the material that changes its property nothing but in terms of its resistance because of the change in the humidity. So, such type of materials we are taking and incorporated in our device so that the changes in the humidity or moisture will affect the change in the resistance of those materials so that we can measure the humidity, uh, a uh, humidity of the atmosphere in terms of the resistance changes. So, this with a uh, binder may be coated on a wire or on electrodes. <coughs> Resulting resistance changes cover a wide range like 10 power 4 ohms to 10 power 9 ohms as the humidity changes from 100% to 0%. 100% to 0%. Here we need to remember one thing. Uh, what is the change in the humidity? Humidity is changing from 0% to 100%. What is the change in the resistance of the lithium chloride? It is having a resistance change from 10 power 9 to 10 power 4 ohms. So, we have to understand two things here. One is as the resistance, uh, as the humidity increases, as the humidity increases from 0% to 100%, the resistance of the device decreases both are in opposite to each other one decreases another parameter increases so as the humidity increases in that atmosphere the resistance of the device decreases 10 power 9 ohms to 10 power 4 ohms suppose if it is decreasing like 100 to 0 percent then it is increasing from 10 power 4 to 10 power 9 ohms so, uh, how many variations are there? 0 percent to 100 percent. So, 100 points we need to consider in the humidity. Whereas, here the large resistance change occurs from 10 power 9 to 10 power 4 ohms. So, it is very difficult to measure a, this much of variation with a single component like a single resistance or a potentiometer. So, that's why the change of the humidity has been divided into number of different narrow sections, narrow ranges like 0% to 10%. The resistance is changing from 10 power 9 to like 10, 10 power 8. So, that means we are reducing the values and 10% to 20% we are changing one, we are taking one more value and 20% to 30% we are taking one more value like this 30% to 40% we are taking one more value. So, entire uh, humidity range from 0 to 100% has been divided into number of narrow ranges to get the small variations in the resistance value. So, that we are taking like let it be how many resistances will come 10 number of ranges will come. Okay, 0 to 10, 10 to 20, 20 to 30, 30 to 40 like that. How many will be there? 0 to 100, 10. 
So if for all these 10 ranges, we are taking 10 different resistor values, 10 different components we are incorporating so that that could be the that could give a, some accurate results rather than using a single component for the entire humidity range from 0 to 100 percent. So uh, we are using number of resistors, number of components instead of a single component. So this is the point it is explaining. This makes it impractical to design a single element to operate from 1 to 100 percent relative to humidity. Instead, several elements are used each in a narrow range with the provision for switching elements. So depending on the range of the humidity, the corresponding uh, element has been switched and that particular element is selected so that the corresponding humidity can be measured. Resistance is measured either with a Wheatstone's bridge or by a combination of current and voltage measurements. Now, what I am saying, humidity changes, humidity increases, resistance decreases. Resistance of a, which device resistance of the hygrometer resistance of hygrometer varies resistance of the hygrometer varies when it varies when the humidity changes if humidity is not changed if the humidity is constant then resistance is constant if humidity changes then resistance is changing so we are keeping this hygrometer in the one of the arms of wheatstone's bridge where if when the humidity is no change then the bridge is in balanced condition so no deflection shows if humidity changes what happens the resistance of this hygrometer changes so that the bridge comes into in balanced condition unbalanced condition so that it shows some deflections those deflections the calibration has to be taken care and it must be designed in terms of humidity Okay, this is how the general process of the measurement of humidity through this resistance hygrometer is going on. Now, this is the arrangement where the connecting film has been placed in between two electrodes. The purpose of conducting film is to absorb the um, changes in the humidity. Okay, it shows a mixture. See here it is... Uh, uh, mentioned it it shows a mixture of lithium chloride and carbon which acts as conducting film this is put on an insulating substance between metal electrodes so this is an electrode this is an electrode here and this is an electrode here in between these two the in between these two electrodes we are using a substance that is called conducting film made up of lithium chloride Okay, so the electrode in the bottom plate is known as a base where the lithium chloride has been uh, placed and one more electrode is placed on the top on top of it. The resistance of the element changes when it is exposed to variations in humidity. The higher the relative humidity, the more moisture the lithium chloride will absorb. Here what happens, the variations in the humidity will be absorbed by this lithium chloride and the lower will be the resistance change. The resistance of the sensing unit is a measure of the relative humidity. Resistance should be measured by applying AC to the DC into the Wheatstone's bridge. The resistance of the sensing unit is measure of relative humidity. So whatever the resistance we are measuring, that is the inter that is that gives the proportional changes in the relative humidity. So this resistance should be measured by applying AC to Wheatstone's bridge. DC voltage is not applied because it tends to break down the lithium chloride. It, it to its lithium and chloride atoms. So what happens if we give some uh, uh, DC voltage, if we give DC voltage to such type of hygrometer, simply the lithium chloride atoms have been break down and they removed, they will be separated as lithium and chloride atoms. So the current flow is a measure of the resistance and hence of the relative humidity. So now coming to the second type of hygrometer where the capacitance changes in the hygrometer device depending upon the change in the moisture or humidity. So capacitance hygrometer. So this is the structure how the capacitance hygrometers have been made where the uh, cap, uh, dielectric medium which is the dielectric you know how the capacitance is made 
two conducting plates separated by a dielectric medium. Two conducting plates, how the capacitance is being made? Two conducting plates separated by a dielectric material. So, in between these two, a dielectric material we are using that is nothing but hygrometer material. So, be, because of this uh, hygrometer material, whatever the uh, change occurred in the humidity of this atmosphere that will be collected by this mat uh, material inside this uh, capacitor uh, which is used as a dielectric material the property of the capacitance will vary and again the capacitance value will be affected by this one okay so <coughs> the change in capacitance of the capacitor shows the surrounding humidity the capacitor hygrometer gives the very accurate result one more point here we need to note down that is in compared to when compared to resistance hygrometer the capacitance hygrometer gives the accurate results it is made by placing the hygroscopic material between the metal electrodes so two conducting plates are there in between these two conducting plates we are placing this hygrometer material which is used to absorb the electric um, changes in the humidity of the atmosphere the hygroscopic material can quickly absorb the water. The material absorb water because of which the capacitance of the capacitor decreases. The electronic circuit measures the change in capacitance. So what happens if it, uh, if the dielectric medium or a material which is incorporated between the two electric uh, conducting plates, it will absorb the water so that the capacitance value decreases. Whenever it absorbs the water or humidity, it simply decreases the capacitance value. When the capacitance value decreases, the circuit property will vary. That means output voltage which is measured across this capacitor will be affected. So here in the capacitance, in the capacitance hygrometers, actually there are several capacitance hygrometers. In this video, I am explaining the first one. Remaining, I will explain in the next video. So, microwave refractometer, this is the first capacitive type hygrometer, uh, crystal hygrometers are there, sir, aluminum hygrometers are there, These, those two are also coming under this uh, capacitive hygrometer. So, the microwave refractometer measures the refractive index of the moisture air when their humidity is changed. The refractive index means the ratio of velocity of the air in one medium to that another medium so when the velocity when the air of when the air changes from one medium to another medium its velocity will be changed if we say if we take that ratio velocity of air one when it is moving from another medium the velocity of the air will be varied if we take the ratio between these two then it is known as uh, some refractive index so the refractive index of humidity air humid air is measured either by measuring the dielectric constant using a capacitor or by measuring the change in frequency okay so the refractive index is varying the change in this refractive index is due to the change in the humidity because medium is changed here medium is changed suppose consider here if some air is there uh, i am explaining how it is working uh, consider here some air is there okay uh, in in one medium, in one medium velocity is suppose this, I am taking one area. In this is the medium one, this is medium two. The here some moisture is there. In the second medium, moisture or humidity is more. Humidity is more where the humidity in the first medium is less. So as the humidity in the first medium is very high, the uh, very low the velocity of the air is different and when it is changing to other medium the velocity of the air is different so they the change in this velocity is due to the change in the medium from one medium to another medium so the medium is nothing but a difference in the humidity so if we take the ratio between these two it is known as refractive index that change is absorbed by the capacitance and or it can also be absorbed by change in the frequency Okay, so this is the first method how the uh, humidity can be measured by the changes with respect to the capacitance using a microwave refractometer. So remaining types of capacitor, uh, capacitor uh, hygrometers I will explain in the next.